All right, y'all, we got a wild one. We got a landlord uh, who is very upset at their tenant because the tenant refuses to throw away the toilet paper in the trash can after they take a poop. This landlord is upset. He's trying to get the tenant to throw the toilet paper away instead of flushing it down the toilet because he's having plumbing issues and uh, he wants advice on how to convince his tenant that uh, they need to throw away their poop paper <laughs> let's discuss all right y'all so today we're gonna be discussing uh this uh landlord and his questions that he's asking uh he's asking these on bigger pockets like a real estate community forum okay uh this dude here nadir m all right tenant doesn't want to place toilet paper in waste basket hello bp wanted to get everyone's opinion on what they would do in this situation my current tenant said that the toilet is clogged again had it opened about three to four weeks ago and the reason was too much toilet paper i told him that they needed to dispose of the toilet paper in the closed trash waste basket. If it happens again due to too much toilet paper, then the cost will be on the tenant. So it happened again and it due to too much toilet paper. He said that it's unsanitary and gross to place toilet paper in a waste basket and that I should have included that in the lease that you can't flush toilet paper. So I'm going to send him the bill, but doubt he will pay and doubt that this issue will be resolved because they'll continue to flush toilet paper down the toilet. How would you guys handle this? What's the recommendation? I'm okay with telling them to break the lease and I'll give them their deposit back minus the cleaning fee. Any thoughts, feedback is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Wow. All right. So <laughs> to recap, this guy, Nadir, has got to be the fucking worst landlord ever, man. Can you imagine? Can you imagine <laughs> you're the tenant? And you're talking to this asshole. And he's like, yeah, bro, stop flushing the toilet paper. You got to throw it away uh, in the garbage can. That is freaking disgusting. And guys like this give landlords a bad name. Now, there are a little bit more caveats to this, though. Okay, there's, there's a little bit more stuff to unpack. Yes, a big part of this is this dude's an asshat, for sure. No argument there. As a landlord myself, uh, it hurts me. You know, it deeply cuts my soul when we get assholes like this, pun intended, right? Running around telling tenants, you know, hey, you got to throw away your toilet paper. Like, bro, we are landlords. There are so many woke people, liberal people, liberal politicians, woke politicians. There is so much in the liberal media out there out to get landlords who are out there doing a good job just running an honest business, and they're still out to get us. It doesn't help us when you got clowns like this guy telling his tenants you can't flush your toilet paper in the toilet like we're in some third world country. Now, he did get a lot of feedback uh, from other like real estate investors on this forum, and to no surprise, Everybody else is like, bro, you're an ass. Like, what are you doing? Uh, but there's a, a few caveats to give you guys like a little bit of an idea where this guy's coming from. And I'll give you my opinion. And there's just like a lot to unpack. Like, so some of it's kind of interesting, kind of important. Like this guy, Jay Henrik says, yeah, Americans simply are unaware that many parts of the world, the TP goes in a waste can, not the plumbing. Which is actually true, believe it or not, right? I uh, don't do much world traveling, but it is true. Like lots of places like Europe and, and all kinds of other places, uh, it is a more common practice or common practice to actually flush your toilet paper. I am an American. I bleed red, white, and blue, so I think that's fucking disgusting. And it is, uh, and that is not the proper way to do it. The reason you see that in some of these other countries is their, their plumbing systems are not as advanced and their plumbing pipes are too small. Uh, and this guy, you know, I'm probably going to get smoked for being a, like a racist or something here. Uh, but I mean, it's, you know, it's just an obvious take. I would assume this dude, based on the fact that his name is Nadir, I, I think you could probably assume he's not from America, if I, if I were to guess, right? So he's probably, uh, 
you know, if not himself from another country where it is a common practice to flush your toilet paper or not a common practice to flush your toilet paper. Rather, you'd want to put your toilet paper in a garbage can. Uh, like here in America, we're like, whoa, what? Whoa, bro, what the fuck? But he's probably uh, either from a country that does that where that's the norm or he's got friends and family where that's the norm. So he's probably not aware of like the norms and customs we have here in America. Not an excuse, not making an excuse for the guy. If you're going to do business in the country, uh, you need to understand the way business operates in that country. Uh, so I'm sure there's going to be a mixed bag of people's reaction to my take on that. Some of you will probably call me a racist. Some of you will probably say I'm making a lot of sense. But uh, that does make sense. So that's why this dude Jay is letting him know, um, hey, bro, like, you know, just so everyone knows, there's other other countries out there where that is normal. Here in America, it's not normal. And any landlords watching this, trying to learn how to be good landlords, investors, trying to learn from what we teach you guys here on Holton Wise TV, do not be this guy. Okay, this guy is a clown. Absolutely. You cannot, just so we are clear, folks, at no point can you, as the landlord in fucking America, tell your tenant, Yo, bro, you got to throw away the toilet paper. That is a non-starter. That is unacceptable. This guy, Bruce Woodruff, we're in the good old U.S. of A. It's gross to put used toilet paper in a trash can. Great point. Here's another point, though. This is where it does get a little cloudy. Make it clear to him that any toilet clogs are on him, okay? All right? Now, that's bringing up another point. Like this other guy... Made a lot of sense here, too. Where is he? Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Down here. Looking for this one. This guy, Mike Dimsky. Give him a call. Apologize for asking him to put the toilet paper in the trash can. That will create common ground and a more reasonable starting point for a resolution. This is good. This is very good stuff here. Because here's the thing. You can't tell your tenant they got to throw away the toilet paper, okay? That's a fucking problem. You can't start any conversation like that because you look like an asshole, you are an asshole, and no one's taking you seriously, and then everything you say after that's total garbage. No one's listening to you. As the landlord, it's your responsibility to make sure the plumbing and everything is working properly. Unlike in other countries, it is unacceptable to have plumbing that cannot handle toilet paper being flushed down the toilet so if we are in a situation where this guy maybe he's got like a hundred year old house and there's like roots and stuff growing up through the plumbing main line in the yard or you have like breaks uh partial breaks partial clogs in other parts of the home where some water gets down but sometimes it gets clogged that's all on the landlord. The landlord needs to do his fucking job, get his ass on the phone, call the plumber. If you got to spend ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 ripping up the foundation in the basement, ripping up a driveway to replace that main line out to the city sewer, that's on you, brother. That's your fucking job. That's what you signed up for. You're the motherfucking landlord, so that's what you got to do, okay? If his plumber goes in and they say, yo, there's nothing wrong. Uh, with your, your plumbing here. There ain't nothing wrong with your plumbing. It's your tenant. They're using too much toilet paper. That's also an issue. Uh, so they have to figure that out, right? So Nadir and his tenant, they got to figure it out first, right? You got to get plumbers in there to determine if the plumbing system can handle an appropriate amount of toilet paper. Great. We got to move on to a, di uh, a different resolution with that tenant. Or if there are issues... Nadir's job is to fix those issues. Let's assume the issues are fixed. Whether they were already fine, it's no issue with the plumbing, or Nadir dropped $20,000, whatever it may be, and fix the plumbing, because that's his job. Not doing your job, always unacceptable, folks. Always unacceptable. It is your job to provide these people proper plumbing systems. Assuming we get to that point, it is still possible, though, for the tenant to be clogging this toilet with too much toilet paper. That is possible, which is why uh, this guy's comment, I like this, this Mike Dembski dude, give him a call, apologize for asking him to put the toilet paper in the trash can. you got to create a common ground. If there is, in fact, no issues with the plumbing, 
you have to create a common ground with this tenant because you just came out to the tenant and said the most ridiculous resolution to the situation this person has ever heard. So now this tenant is completely on their heels, like calling their friends and family like, dude, I got the biggest piece of crap slumlord in the world. What am I going to do about this guy? He's telling me I got to freaking throw away my toilet paper in the garbage can like I'm in some third world hut. That's unacceptable. So if your tenant is the one causing the problem to proper plumbing, you're not going to be able to like reach your tenant on like a human level anymore because you started off saying the most ludicrous, ridiculous, stupid, slow more thing you possibly could, right? So this is why you guys got to educate yourself before you start trying to manage these properties. And again, I go back uh, to what the other guy said in there that like, hey, just so you guys know, in other countries, it's common to do this. And I go back to this dude. His name is Nadir. He's probably, again, either from another country or he has friends and family. And, and like, that's all normal to him. So his big issue here, right, if the plumbing does work, is he didn't take the time to understand his market, understand his business, understand his customers. He didn't do something as simple is figuring out how the bathroom situation works here in America, okay? That's on him, and now he's got a big problem with his tenant because his tenant probably hates him. And even if he does call and apologize, it's going to be very hard to convince that tenant uh, that the tenant did anything wrong and the tenant is dealing with anything other than the worst slumlord in America, right? So the real moral of the story here, folks, is handle your business, understand the game you're in, understand the business you're in, understand the product you're selling, which is rental properties here in America. And if there is an issue with the plumbing, it is 100% on you to fix. If you get the plumbing all fixed up, at that point, you know, be on better footing. Hopefully you'll never get in a situation where Nadir is by putting your foot in your mouth saying something stupid like flush, you know, throw it in the garbage can. But maybe Nadir somehow gets lucky and he calls this guy like, hey man, my bad. I'm really sorry. That's how they do it in the country that I'm from. Uh, I'm going to have my plumbers go in there. He probably needs to pay the plumbers to go in there again, double check again. I'm going to have my plumbers come in there, uh, scope it out. They'll talk to you and we'll show you that there really is nothing wrong with the plumbing. And maybe at this point, brother, you know, if you hit up fourth meal at Taco Bell the night before, maybe do a courtesy flush halfway through, you know, maybe chop that up into a couple different flushes. Uh, you know, you can't, use an extreme amount of toilet paper and, you know, make sure the tenant knows, hey, you got to have a plunger and sometimes you got to plunge it out, bro. Toilets do get clogged. I mean, I, you know, I'd be lying if I said I ain't never clogged a toilet, y'all. Okay, I got kids, they clog toilets. So sometimes people do put too much toilet paper in there, but you got to be able to make sure you come up to them and have that delicate conversation uh, from like a normal place. You know, you're not getting anywhere though if they're already thinking you're the biggest scumbag in the history of the world because you told them to throw it in the garbage. And on this forum, again, pretty much most people were pretty much like, dude, what the hell are you doing, brother? We don't do that here. But, but if you really break it down, you could like really see where this guy was coming from and stuff. But uh, none of that is an excuse for his behavior, right? Uh, is he a bad person? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, but he is probably a lazy businessman. And, you know, that's a, that's a, a gripe people have against landlords. They think landlords are lazy and don't do any work and they just collect rent. Well, I think the guy's lazy because he didn't go through the proper process, the proper due diligence to get educated on his business, and now he put himself in a shitty situation. Let me know your thoughts. Sound off in the comments. Beat it up. Let's discuss this. Uh, am I making sense? Am I being racist? Uh, is you know, do you think the tenant should throw this stuff in the garbage can? Let me know if you've been to Europe or if you are from Europe or some other country. Uh, let me know your experience uh, with, you know, taking a dump and just, you know, you know, sitting next to a garbage can full of poo-poo. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.